a refugee, <laughs> um, talking about situations in my country, uh, about ratification. To me, Thailand used to be a very peaceful country, and um, there should not be any problem of ratifying the Rome Statute so that we can promote you know, universal uh, ratification, right? I like the term, you can run, but you cannot hide. I can't remember who said that, but uh, uh, sometimes when we talk about bad guys, yeah, you can run, but you cannot hide. I think that's a good term. But then when you think about some bad guys, they don't run and they don't need to hide because mm -hmm. they have the system to hide themselves very well. And I think that's probably the case about Thailand. And I would like to draw your attention to the case of Thailand so that we understand the obstacles um, that lay in front of ratification. Thailand, uh, two years ago I talked with of CICC and Thailand. She used to work with uh, CICC back then and then now she's foreign, you know. The bosses are based in Thailand, I mean so much. I'm a little too passionate for an academic. I was, I, I was in the academy of teaching in Australia, England, briefly in Afghanistan and in the States for 25 years. Then I decided two years ago to be to found this organization, Thai Lives Human Rights. We never thought about human rights in Thailand before. We were proud of sisters, everything is fine, peaceful, beautiful beaches, spread food, everything Thai is great. But then one day we realized, wow, we are out there, down there in the pit, bottomless pit down there. Now, I'm here to share with you some brief notes uh, about the obstacles. Now. But you can also go and visit the website. Uh, I hope I can do that. Because there will be information that you can follow. And I would like to have dialogues with you so that you can give us ideas about how the Thai rights and human rights can work with the CICC. We have become members for two years now. But I would like to for, uh, you know, look for opportunities to really help you do what you do and learn from you what we can do to help us help ourselves. Right? Uh, we haven't done much, but thank you very much for the second time uh, of uh, joining this uh, assembly. Uh, now, the obstacles in Thailand. You say, I said, you can run, but you cannot hide. But in Thailand, they don't run. And they don't really have to hide that much because everything uh, works so well together systematically to hide the power. In fact, the very point I'd like to make here is that the, the main obstacle for ratification is almost like a dilemma. Is that the people in power are the people who have caused the abuses, who have exercised uh, mass crime. Now, since they are the culprits, they want to protect, to protect themselves. They want impunity. They are comfortable with impunity. And I think that's the case for many countries, I would say that. And Thailand is one of them. Uh, in order for you to understand uh, that the system works to protect the status quo. Okay, you know Thailand as a peaceful country before. Uh, how many of you think Thailand is democratic now? None? <laughs> yes, <laughs> understandable. Right. Uh, uh, have you heard that Thailand within the past 40 years, there have been five, at least five massacres accounting for at least 200 deaths and over 3,000 <coughs> injuries. At least, at least. That very peaceful country with beautiful beaches spread to beautiful women, some may say, right? And are you aware that Thailand is ranked number four among the countries with the most coup d'etat, successful coup d'etat and attempts? You would not believe that. Uh, do you believe that? The, uh, do you believe that the Thai king is loved by Thais? I guess we do, right? Do you believe that the Thai king, based on Forbes, is 5.4 million times wealthier than the average income of the people in the entire country? Do you know that he is the person coming up with the theory of self-sufficiency, right? Do you know that out of the coups, all the coups that were successful in Thailand were endorsed by the king 
and the king himself pardon the two leaders who would otherwise become the rebels, subject to life imprisonment at least, but death penalty. So when people at the top, the army has uh, staged coups successfully many times, they got pardoned, then they killed people, and most of the people involved in the killing happened to be royal guards, the people who were selected, who were affiliated with the people. Now, since Thais love the king so much, and we are meant to believe that we love the king, so everything about the king is not touchable. We have Article 8 that says you cannot criticize the king, you have to respect, you have to revere, and you have to, uh, you cannot sue the king in any way. So I think the main obstacle is that people are afraid to even slightly touch the king if they ratify the Rome Statute. So misconceptions and all that may be used as excuses for not wanting to touch the, the beloved king. At the same time though, these people who benefit from the coup, from you know, taking power <coughs> undemocratically, claiming that they love the king, they have done that and they want the ICC to stay out of their game. And that's my belief, and that's the belief of the Thailand's for human rights. Now, the conclusion is this, my question, when the people in power are the people who decide whether to ratify those statutes, whether to let go the impunity that they comfortably possess, what do we do? What can we do? What can we think about the power of the people who actually are the real power that give uh, the power to uh, the representative of the government in power? Have some say in ratification process. I know that doesn't exist. I'm seeking ways of how I can help uh, the ICC, I can help other NGOs in Thailand, push Thailand towards ratification. I'm also opening for, uh, for advice from you all about what I, as a Thai, working for Thailand and maybe other countries, because I believe in universal, uh, universality of um, the justice as well. So open for suggestion, open for advice, and would like to uh, work closely, more closely with the CRCC and any other organizations, our neighbors in Asia and uh, Southeast Asia. Um, I think that's probably the end of it, but uh, please do visit the website, uh, HTTP, uh, free Thai, free Thai citizens, or in lowercase.org, free Thai citizens, dot org slash CICC or in those tests. There will be information about the messages, but I want you there will be graphic um, stuff up there about the massacres in the past. And you would not believe the peaceful country that you see is probably worse than that. That's all. Much. Thank you. Thank you very much for your intervention. Given the circumstances